Just want to um, go through the steps for attaching Sarah onto the breast. Um, making sure that you're comfortable yourself. Now, if you bring the rub your nipple under her nose to encourage her to open her mouth wide. That's it. And that's it. With a nice wide mouth, bring her to the breast with the approaching from with the lower lip first. You don't need to hold the breast away from her nose because she, um, the nostrils flare naturally and they, they kind of, she pull away if, she, if she's not getting enough air there. Now the body's nice and straight and her head is straight. Um, and as you can see, the areola, it's quite a, a large amount of the areola in her mouth. More often than not, there's more of the, the underneath part of the areola in the mouth. You see more of it on top. Now you can see she's sucking quite rapidly at first but as the feed goes on you'll notice it becomes longer deeper sucks and she'll pause between sometimes with larger breasts you need to support it for smaller babies just for a little while once she's latched on you don't really need to hold it because you can actually disturb the latch uh, by pressing down so once she's on like that it's best just to let her suck you can see also Ashlyn that the the lower lip is curled down and that her chin is close to the breast that's a good latch there, but I mean, if she wasn't latched on correctly there, you, you might hear some noise, uh, like clicking noise, or alternatively, um, it could be painful. If you feel it's painful uh, when you're attached to her, you know then she's not in the correct position. Yes, that doesn't hurt at all. No, so there shouldn't be any pain involved when she's correctly latched on. The important thing is the wide open mouth. If you find she falls asleep on the breast uh, quite quickly, sometimes it's because they get quite warm and comfortable. Mm -hmm. You could um, maybe try feeding her just in her little uh, baby gar or a little vest to keep her awake. Also, you can just rub the feet or, you know, kind of gently stimulate her jaw or her cheek. If she moves around like that, basically, and you, you're not sure whether she still has a proper full lap that the nipple is slightly come out, should I take her you off? You should take her, her off. So if you pop your little finger into her mouth and gently break the latch, that's it. Because otherwise you can hurt your nipple by um, pulling her off. And then just again, if you hold your um, nipple in um, with your thumb on the top and your fingers on the bottom, that's called the C hold, yeah. that sort of way. That's perfect.